everyone. Welcome to Fluid Art by Christine. Um, I have some paintings here that I wanted you to see that are dry with the layering technique that I'm about to do. Um, this one is video number 16, Purple Bliss. And I hope the lighting is okay. Um, and I just wanted you to see that my cells didn't move at all from the way they were when the video was done. Um, and I've had really good luck and I think it has to do with not adding water um, to my medium. Um, but anyway, okay, hi everyone. I wanted to make sure the lighting was right um, and it seems like when I pick it up it reflects really bad. So I hope you can see it better this way. I want to get one of those lighting umbrella thingies um, in the future uh, very soon um, and that will look a lot better. Anyway, so this one is called Space Nebula number 25 video and I just love this little thing. It's just the coolest ever. This cell right here I love and all the cells held together and they're just really cool. Colorful cells I call them. Creature cells I love to call them. Uh, there's not a lot of eyes in this one but um, still really fun. This corner over here, really, really fun. So um, the other one is, uh, there's no video of this one. Um, and it just still came out. This one has a lot of eyes uh, in it. Right here, just throughout here, little eyes right here. And uh, really just fun conversational pieces. Um, my kids and their friends seem to like these um, the most of all my paintings. They like the creature cells. And then uh, last but not least, um, I call this Purple Bliss. This is video number uh, 16, uh, a little while ago. And um, let's see if I can get that light to be less bright. Oh, she just doesn't want to do anything. Um, but anyway, um, I hope you can see that. Uh, really fun oyster shell thing there, conch shell there, and uh, the one-eyed kitty um, right there. So I'll try not to move around a lot and keep it in frame and lots of eyes. Um, little fun colorful cells um, I'm so sure you can see I hope you can see anyway that's the best I can do with the lighting that I have out here in the garage um, and I'm gonna make a, uh, a fourth today it's a 12 by 12 canvas I've got my colors ready and I am ready to rock so um, I'll be right back okay hi everyone all right so i'm going to quickly go through the colors um very quickly i've got them in my bottles here um i've got titanium white artist loft everything all of my paints mixed with floetrol only no water no glue i repeat myself over and over uh artist loft phthalo blue actually this is basics phthalo blue it's the same blue uh, it's the dark blue um artist loft deep magenta uh, Basics Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue and Basics Dioxazine Purple, Basics Cadmium Red Light Hue, which is pretty much orange, and Metallic Cobalt Blue. I cannot find a similar color to this for my life that's not in metallic. Um, so I just keep using the metallic even though I'm not going for that metallic look. Um, Okay, so um, I've got them mixed to the consistency of, oh, well, warm honey, that's what everybody likes to say, but it's to where, and I can't show you because they're in bottles, um, it's not too thick, not too thin. Um, I'm going to do another mixed paint video soon. And for the uh, lubricant, I use the uh, treadmill belt lubricant, um, <clears throat> and I'm going to do the layering technique. So I'm just gonna spray this uh, cup. This is a nine ounce cup. And 
Man, does that stuff stink. I'm gonna have to find an alternative to that. Okay, so here we go. Start with white. And every three layers of paint, I'm gonna to try to remember to put in treadmill belt. I usually get it pretty good. I like when the paint lays on top of each other and doesn't sink down. That is my goal. So here we go with a uh, treadmill belt. I'm gonna go for three drops. I try to do a triangle if I can, but see, two came out. I'm gonna get the spot on treadmill belt, I think next time. But, um, and I'm gonna go with the yellow. Now I'm gonna do my yellow a little thick because in the paintings that I just showed you, um, yellow seems to be not come out very much, but when it does, the cells really look cool, so I'm hoping the yellow cell will burst from the, eh, you know, we all have our imaginations, burst out from the darker colors. Uh, that would be nice if it did what we wanted it to. Uh-oh, let me see. Got a bottle that doesn't want to cooperate here. Stick a, you just stick a scissor in there. That usually works. There it goes. This is the only purple layer I'm putting in this. Let it be known, I'm putting it away. Purple loves to take over. treadmill. Cobalt, metallic cobalt blue. Magenta. That's three, I think. That was like four drops. I'm just being clear. It's hard to control. Again, I'm gonna go heavy with the yellow. Orange on top of yellow. Cobalt on top of orange. Now, yellow and the cobalt will make green. And you know what? I've said this before and I'm going to do it again. I'm going to put this deep magenta on top of this uh, metallic cobalt blue because I just love the way they look together. They just have a great balance. There's something about it. And white. Wow, that is a pretty cup. Okay. 
Okay, I just did the uh, I'm running out of order here. Okay, yeah, now I'm doing the phthalo blue. You gotta have dark, deep colors to contrast with your lighter colors with this particular kind of getting those colorful cells to come out. That's the last of the silicone. Um, a lot in that cup. And don't want to put yellow on top of that, so I'm going to put the pink in again. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to put the orange in again. Just the way I said that. I'm going to put the pink in again like it was a question. It was a question. And then I'm going to do the blue uh, cobalt. This is a kind of a green blue, but not quite to a turquoise or teal, I guess. And I've been looking for a teal. And I'm going to do this deep magenta over it. You know what? I think I might have lied. I am going to put more treadmill. I've got enough room in my cup. Do I? Hmm. Don't know. All right, let's just compromise and do one drop. One drop right in the middle. Okay, now I wanna put in yellow. Yellow blue. One last color before it's over. Let's do orange. And then white. All right. That's it. All the hard decisions have been made. Now it's just about the application. Not screwing it up. I see green. You see the green? That's okay. Whenever you have blue and yellow in the same cup, you will definitely have green. <laughs> it's so hard getting my hand out of here. There we go. I got it. Now my Lazy Susan is not level. I don't know why, but most of the time I'm gonna be tilting and then it's gonna go to a drying place. Anyway, that's coming down. That is so pretty. Have a sip of wine for good luck. Cheers. So I know I tell you guys all the time I'm in Florida. We are in, um, near Daytona Beach, and uh, we have finally felt a little bit of cool come, and the bugs are dissipating. So I am so grateful um, for the less bugs and soon to be no bugs. All right, stay in your place. Get crazy. I'm really hoping to get a um, nice, as I say that, a moth comes over. Um, I'm really wanting a new lighting um, type of fixture. And the good ones are like a hundred bucks. And I keep spending my money on paint canvases. <laughs> so, uh, you know, anyway. Oh, silly me, almost forgot. I'm supposed to be working here. I haven't done one of these in a, in a little while. Probably two or three weeks. The more I put on now, 
this I'll have to worry about later. I want to tilt this just to get this white to go around. Now, can you see my thickness of paint when I do that? It's kind of thick, but it's I think that's what holds the cells together when it dries. All right, good enough, good enough. I'm gonna have to have my husband look at this Lazy Susan. Something's weird with it. All right, it's ready. It's just my nerves right now. caterpillars I do that's all right those things are gonna be so not there well they may be there I don't know They're growing growing they could turn into one of those cool shells that I was just showing you guys or an oyster oh my gosh look at it oh look 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 Excitement fills me. Colorful cell. And when they're that big, they're just going to get bigger. Oh my gosh. Just love this method. I don't know about this, but I see some blue popping up. So I'm going to get the uh, heat gun on low. doing I can't mess with it right now so it's all about being calm that silicone so I'm getting a little drippage over here silicone is uh, coming up oil and water will always separate and that's what's doing right now tiny bit of tilting it because it's starting to run off and I don't want it to yet. Alright, I think it might be ready. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I don't want to pour anything off. Look at this. Alright, so God, I want to keep that. Listen to the paint, right? Talk to myself a little bit. Look at this. I don't want to lose this either. I'm barely doing anything right now. It's insane. It's doing it all on its own. I just have to wait. Wow. Cool. Yay! I'm losing this over here, but it's just getting bigger, so expansion. All right, so I'm going to do some white over here. So when it does roll, it'll roll easy and it won't roll over. Now that was a nine ounce cup of paint. Um, and for this 12 by 12 canvas, golly, I'm not even doing anything. This one might be my best one yet. I put a tiny bit of purple in it. Cause I, man, purple will take over. Okay. Stay calm, Christine. Let's 
very exciting. Kind of boring when you don't have to do anything. You just stand here and watch it all come out. I'm, I'm joking. This is not boring at all. Oh my gosh. Creature cells. All right, so. I am going to do this corner first. And I, as soon as I feel comfortable, I'm pulling it back because I love this pink and yellow orange thing going on over here. This is so neat. This is so neat. I love this color combo, man. I'm gonna have to try this again. You guys are more than welcome to copy me. I do not consider it infringement at all. Do it. Try it. to the paint. The paint doesn't want to go over there. Wow. It's weird that the middle is so dead though right there, huh? Let's see if we go over here. Without pouring off that cool cool stuff. A creature coming out of the middle. I can't do a whole lot more. I'm gonna mess things up. I'm glad I didn't fill that cup to the tippy top because you'll lose cells by having too much paint on. I'm gonna use my heat gun again. See if I can get this middle part to wake up but I am very I can stare at this thing for hours all right here we go oh I see eyes now in there in the middle not a not big ones but just gotta wait colorful cells that's the only way I know how to describe it colors inside of colors 
I might have tilted it too much, but I had to get those edges. All right, over here, I got a little paint. tips. That's better. Look, something's coming out of the middle. I could even speed this up so you guys don't have to wait so long. I just can memorized, mesmerized. So mesmerized. More heat. like my kitty and the other one. Now I use a heat gun. I have a torch. Man, I, I don't know. I just I don't like it. It gives you that spray of little cells where it hits and um, I really want little cells. I want big cells. Cool. Let's turn it. It's almost like a ring pour over here. Look at that jellyfish. I wonder what it'll do if I tilt it a little bit this way. Stretching out those pretty cells. I don't hate that. God, the yellow really, really came out. See these? I'm stretching these out right now. I'm trying to, anyway. Gonna leave the camera on it. Ooh, I see some other things happening here. Some yellow coming out. Only so much I can do. Paint will do what the paint does.
I see a puppy dog. I'm glad that I stretched that out because that looks like a cute little character in this painting. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> I'll try to do a close up on it when I do the close up. Two eyes and nose and a little tongue hanging out. Looks like a dog, like a white dog inside that cell. Beautiful. I'm thrilled. Yay! Anyway, I hope you guys have much success. If you try this, please comment. Let me know what you think. I'll keep making these. Um, these are fun um, layering technique. And I am doing some other canvases. Um, the 12 by 24 gallery wrapped. And, um, you know, I'm still a student. I think I'm always going to be a student. I'm not a professional. So I'm just having fun doing what I'm doing and make the videos because I love looking back at them and sometimes I need to refresh my memory. What did I do? What did, how did I succeed or how did I screw up? <laughs> but um, it does 